All right, take a look at this, folks. So this window here is giving me about 400, 500 lumens of light. Now what I want to do is take you downstairs to where I have my grow light set up. And what we can see here is that now we're up to about 7,000 lumens that these plants are absorbing. And so one of the biggest issues that I see when it comes to seed starting is the seedling not getting enough light for it to absolutely thrive because it's not underneath a grow light, it's in a windowsill. But not all of us have the same kind of housing environment and so there isn't one size fits all for a grow light stand. So today what I wanna walk through are four different and unique grow light stands set up that will work perfectly for you and your space. And at the very end, I'm gonna share one bonus little hack that's gonna save you a whole lot of headaches. And so to get started, let's head upstairs for the first grow light stand. Alrighty, so the first grow light stand option is simply to use an old shelving unit, an old closet, or maybe even your bedroom closet for where you're going to hang your grow light from. So first thing I need to do though is clear out a little bit of space here. All right, and so now that we've cleared the space, all that we need to do is hang up our grow light stand. And one, this is part of why I absolutely love this option, as well as why I love the grow lights that we have, is because all of them come with an extension cord that clips onto the top of the grow light. So all that we need to do is take this and then hang it over top of this rod here. Whoop. And then we just clip the grow light on. And voila. And so now just with one or two clicks, bump, bump, we are all set and ready to start growing. So this first option, really, really easy to set up, can get you growing basically immediately. And I know that say Christy in our community, she has set something like this up right beside her furnace where it's nice and warm. Jennifer, she's converted a whole kind of shelving unit into a grow light stand or a seed starting station where she's able to do tons and tons of seeds in that area. And she had an amazing harvest this past season. But not all of us are going to be able to get rid of, say, our clothes or our shoes, put them somewhere else. And so let's head downstairs for a second grow light stand option. Okay, so the second grow light stand option is to grab a couple of these small hooks and simply put them into the bottom of some existing cupboard that you might already have, such as in your kitchen, maybe in a laundry room, both really great options. And so the best part about this option is that these hooks cost me $5.56. All that you need to do is simply grab the hooks and then you'd probably wanna measure it out, but for today's video, I'm just gonna find two spots near the middle and then screw them in there. And now let's get the second one. Easy. And then we grab our grow light and just pop it on. Two clicks and we're all set to grow. And so say Ashley in our community, this is exactly what she did in her kitchen. Ended up starting a ton of really amazing, beautiful little plant babies and had a really wonderful patio garden all through the summer. So option number two, really, really straightforward and only again, four or $5 worth of cost. But not all of us are gonna be able to give up that precious kitchen real estate we're gonna be doing our kitchen. So let's head out to the garage to put together a custom grow light stand for number three. All right, so the third grow light stand option is this wooden DIY stand. And this is probably my favorite of the options. And the reason behind that is because once we have it assembled, we can really put it kind of anywhere throughout our house where we have a little bit of extra space. Now on top of that, it's really, really easy to put together. And so at the link in the description down below, we have a step-by-step -step guide on how to build your very own DIY wooden grow light stand for either a two foot grow light, like the one that we have on our website or a four foot grow light. So head to the link in our description if you wanna download that guide and kind of be able to go through it step by step. And this is just how simple it is. All that you need to do is head to your lumber store and grab an eight foot two by four. Once you've grabbed that eight foot two by four, they're gonna be able to cut it to the exact lengths that you need. And so for our two foot grow light stand, you're going to ask them to cut it into one 28 inch piece, two, 24 inch pieces and then two 10 inch pieces for the feet of the stand. They're gonna cut those really quickly for you. And then just before you leave the store, make sure that you pick up a pack of at least eight three inch screws. And so then once you're back home, all that you have to do is quickly assemble it. All right, so what we're going to do is take the 28 inch piece and that's going to be the top of the stand. And then we're gonna take one of the 24 inch pieces and put that on the outside and then simply screw that in. 
And then flip it over and connect the other side. All right, and once that's together, then we just stand it up and realize I put it on the wrong way. <laughs> that's what happens when you try to go too fast, folks. Things don't go according to plan. Fortunately, that time it was a quick fix. So now it is set up. Last thing that we need to do is just attach our feet and you want to attach the feet on the outside of the grow light stand so that you have as much space underneath for seedlings, seed cells, your trays, etc. So I just pop that onto the ground so it's nice and level. And just like that, once again, in a few minutes time, we have put together a completely custom grow light stand. That's how quick and easy it is. The only difference for the four foot grow light stand is that the beam across the top is obviously a little bit longer and all the instructions for that are in the guide, which you can download at the link in the description of this video. So now all that we need to do is find somewhere throughout our house or our apartment that we can put it so that we can start our seeds underneath it and our plant babies can call that their temporary home until we transplant them into the garden a little bit later in the year. And so just like that, once again, a couple clicks and we're back growing. Can't see me, so I'll turn that off. So again, I really love this setup because it's just so easy to put together and then it hardly takes any space whatsoever. So just before we head to that fourth and final grow light stand setup, for those of you that I have not met before, I'm Jordan from Mind and Soil where we're looking to introduce a million individuals to mindful gardening. So if you're looking to experience more peacefulness, more calmness, more joy, more restoration in your life, then go ahead and subscribe down below. We put up new videos every single week to be helping you feel comfortable and confident getting your hands dirty so you can feel just how amazing gardening is. Now let's head over to that fourth and final grow light stand plus the bonus tip. Okay, so our fourth and final grow light stand is this right behind me, which is a 100% custom built grow light stand that really takes two things into account. One, the space that you're working with and two, the goals that you have as a gardener. So let's pull back the curtain here and take a little bit of a look at what we're working with. All right, so it's a little bit quiet in here right now, but the biggest benefit to this fourth grow light stand is just the sheer volume of little seedlings, plant babies, that it allows me to start. Because with this setup that I've built, I can fit one, two, three 10 by 20 trays on each of the three tiers that I've put together. And the second part of why this is such a good option for some individuals is because this space beforehand was just an empty little alcove that I have right beside my laundry. It was doing nothing for me. And so I've turned this into a little seed starting station where I'm able to come down here. I've got my journal, I've got my seed library, I've got some incense. And when we start getting into the season, it's such a joy to be able to come down here, check on how the plant babies are doing. And so if you're looking to put something like this together in your house there really isn't any guide that I can put together for it because it's going to be a hundred percent custom for your space a few of the key elements though are that I use plywood for what the seed trays and seed cells sit on and then on the bottom of that exact same piece of plywood is where I put the little screws that we showed in example number two to connect the grow lights and then outside of that I use two by fours to connect each of the layers and then literally just some old sheets to enclose it all so I can put a heater at the bottom to keep it nice and warm so that all of the seeds successfully germinate. But those are the four options that I wanted to go through. And before we wrap up, I just wanted to share that one bonus tip with you that's gonna save you a ton and a ton of headache. So take a look at our two pepper babies here. So we've got Hercules the habanero in the back, and then Henry the habanero in the front here. And what we can see is that Hercules is already two to three inches taller. And this is going to happen if say you're growing a tomato seedling that's starting to grow vertically. And right beside it, you have a basil seedling that's really, really short, stubby, low to the ground. Well, rather than adjusting the light around a whole ton, what you can do is grab a book, a box, anything along those lines, and just slide that underneath your shorter seedlings and then just like that, they're going to be at the exact same height as your tallest one and all of them will be receiving consistent, even lighting. So a really nice way to not have to be fiddling around with moving things around, have everything on different angles, but rather just using a little bit of structures built in there. So that's everything that I wanted to cover off on today. If you have any questions on how to be building out your grow light stand, 
let me know down in the comments. I really hope that one of these options works for you. And if not, that it's at least prompted some ideas on what could be a viable option in your space. And if you go with something different, please, please, please let me know down in the comments. So that's everything for today here, folks. Go get those hands dirty, and I'll catch you on the next one.